Good morning, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, as promised a couple of months ago, and I've been really slack, but I'm about to begin making some tutorials on content creation for Open Simulator. Now, your first question might be, why should you bother? Um, given the amount of free content that's available and also the stuff you can buy on uh, various marketplaces like Kitely, etc. There's a couple of reasons. Um, perhaps the foremost in my mind is that when you make something in the world, you feel good. When, you're, when you build something it's, and it's there, it's sitting there physically in the world, and you just have the sense of accomplishment. Here's my, you know, here's my region, and I've gotten to the point where I love it so much I don't even care what other people think of it, and it makes me feel good just logging in and walking around, and that's because everywhere I look, every prim, every texture, every sound, every animation, every script, every avatar body part, even the hair, the skin, the, the eyes, Every NPC and every special effect I created. If you're just going in and using, if you're just consuming, you get you can tend to get a, a sense of a feeling of wasted time, uh, which is very common to people playing games. They eventually throw their arms up and go, "What the hell am I doing, wasting all my time in world?" Whereas if you're creating something, you you feel like you've actually done something with your time in world. Uh, on top of that, when you make something and other people like it and, and they ask for copies of it or um, you know if you can't stuff becomes good enough that you can sell it if someone else likes your stuff it's it's like someone coming in and, and liking a painting you've done it's a it's a feeling that people are viewing your artwork and they're liking it and again that's a buzz um, so that's the first set of reasons secondly when you download or import a freebie item or buy someone else's product and I'm not being disparaging I'm meaning to be meaning to be disparaging about other creators content there's some good creators out there and there's some rubbish creators but do you know how that item has been made that you've imported onto your grid so to put it in simple terms it's like downloading a file onto your computer do you know that it's free of viruses so basically when you're bringing something into your world do you know that the script is good is what I'm, is the analogy I'm trying to make there. Uh, are the scripts uh, suitable for Open Simulator? Are they compatible with the version that's running on your grid? Um, are they just running old Second Life scripts that really aren't suitable for use anymore? Uh, do the scripts reference assets that might not be available on your grid? Uh, will those scripts generate lag? Will they crash your sim? And then there's the the, the properties of every prim that's in that object. Uh, are the prims a standard size or has the object been stretched and re-stretched many times and uh, making it difficult to line up with other objects that you might have? Uh, also, did the download or import maintain the object's permissions? Uh, did it maintain the object's phantom or physical properties? Did it capture all the contents of each individual prim? And finally, how large are the texture files on the, uh, on the object? Bad files will affect your game and they'll drive you mad. And instead of, instead of um, logging in to enjoy the world that you live in, you're going to be logging in for damage control to try and solve problems that you have no idea how to solve that could be affecting your entire region and can even be affecting the neighboring regions of uh, people who just happen to be adjoining yours. And that's what this video is about. I'm trying to get better content in virtual worlds. I'd like, I want to see more original stuff rather than all this junk. Uh, I've mentioned in a previous video how there's so much bad mesh in uh, virtual worlds and this is partly what this video is about. I want to see people making their own stuff. You know, be original. Let's make some cool gear. I think it's very fair to say that the people who gain the most pleasure from virtual worlds create content. 
so um yeah that's my big sell i i hope you join me on the journey and uh um if you want to give this content creation a go let's get into it um we'll start with some super easy prim building and uh, learn our way around the edit tools then we'll progress to scripting each time adding just another layer of complexity and uh it will be something you can do at your own pace or come back to review later um and yeah just just plug along and keep keep learning it's learning's fun um i guarantee it will be fun it'll definitely be personally rewarding and you'll get a sense of satisfaction from it uh viewers uh, i get asked a lot which is the best viewer to use for open simulator there isn't really a best one uh, my suggestion is go with the viewer that your grid recommends <laughs> and so in my case i'm on the digi worlds grid and i've just broken the rule i just said but they recommend the singularity viewer and that's fine um, but personally i use firestorm and I only use I only use singularity <coughs> really if I need to import an XML file um, but I've pretty much converted all my old XML files to OXP which is a Firestone format so I I do a bit of import export with OXP so it's probably why I do use the Firestorm um, I haven't used singularity in a couple of years but there's nothing at all wrong with singularity um, this is just my preference so I'll, I'll be doing this tutorials in uh, these tutorials in Firestorm uh, I'll also be building I'll also be doing the tutorials on my um, uh, private grid which is uh, my dream grid uh, installation and if you want to look into setting up a dream grid in, a dream grid installation i'll put links to those videos below I, I made a series of videos last year okay to the present let's get ready for building so the first thing you need to do is set up a sandbox area so uh, by a sandbox it's just look that's actually a really great name for it because that's what you want you want something really simple you don't want anything fancy you want a patch of sand a, a patch of bare ground don't worry about fences and floors because chances are you'll accidentally link your object to <laughs> one of those things that don't need to be there um, and I can say this from experience there is nothing more frustrating than dropping a script into the wrong thing and especially a large linked object and you think you've dropped a script into a particular link of a, an object that has many links and things aren't doing what they're meant to do and you find two days hair out that you actually accidentally dropped it into a fence or a tree or some piece of surrounding that it's not supposed to be in so i repeat don't make it fancy just a patch of dirt that is your sandbox that's where we'll be building um secondly open your camera controls um you're going to be zipping around uh panning in and out um, circling your object your avatar is going to be there but you mightn't see it for hours it's just going to be off to the side because your avatar doesn't have anything to do with it you're using the edit tools so yep camera controls are vital <coughs> in your edit window there's a thing they're called snap um we want to set the increments uh, again this is just my experience 0.125 meters so that is just what i've found is very good and you'll you'll get to see why as we start building um you can change that to whatever you want at some future point but that's the um, reference that i'll be using during this tutorial so the next thing we want to do is uh, up in your preferences your build preferences is set them to copy mod this is just nice and versatile setting so that if you go to give them away or sell something it allows people to make extra copies of them and say change the color 
or the size of something. <coughs> um, but it limits people's ability to pass them off as their own if they try to give, they can't give copies away um, or pretend that they made your stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, the next thing we want to do is set a default texture and that you have brought in world yourself. And w when you create something new, the default is to use a, a wooden texture that um, uh, is part of the game. The problem being, if you don't own all the textures in your build, um, that if they aren't your original textures that you brought in world yourself, when you go to export your item, the system might strip the textures out of that object. So I just use a blank white texture and I'll show you how to do that um, in the first tutorial. Right, so assuming you're all pumped up, let's get into the first tutorial and uh, theoretically there'll be a link on the screen somewhere either side of my head. See you shortly.